Hey, welcome to Rob Paints Models. Today we're going to start painting Necromunda. I'm going to start off by painting some bases and I'm going to be doing these in a couple of parts. We're going to start with a grey base with some toxic goo on it. So I start off by painting the whole base with Mechanica Standard Grey. I'm using an airbrush here, but you can do this with a rattle can or just base coat it with a brush. This is just for speed for my sake. Now I'm going to take Administratum Grey and I'm going to highlight the middle of each of the panels on the base. Um, if you don't have an airbrush you can do this by uh, stippling with your paintbrush with not very much paint on it. It's kind of like dry brushing but stabbing at the centre of the models rather than um, dragging the brush back and forth over the model. Now I'm going to take Administratum Grey and I'm going to sponge on some chips with that. Now I'm going to dry brush on some long beard grey. I'm going to do this in all directions. We want to catch all of the edges. Now we're going to sponge on some VMA gun grey to create areas where the uh, protective paint has chipped off, revealing the bare metal underneath. Now how this looks depends upon the angle that your light's hitting it. From some angles it's going to look darker than others. We're now going to paint on some Abaddon black, some more kind of paint chips with our sponge. Then we're going to wash the whole base with Nuln Oil. I'm going to use a slightly damp brush here to just wick away the excess on the flat surfaces where I don't want it to pull too much or stain the paint. And it's important to do this while your wash is still dry because once it starts drying you'll get tide marks and you won't be able to undo this. So you've got to work quickly here. Once it's dry, it should look like this. Now we're going to paint some toxic sludge. So we're going to take some moot green and using our sponge, we're just going to create a kind of random splodgy pattern as if, you know, some toxic goop has spilled out of uh, a barrel or a pipe and has just kind of spattered across the floor. And then once we've got our basic shape with the sponge, just going to go in with a paintbrush and some moot green and just fill in the middles of those areas, just reinforce it and make that moot green really nice and bright. Now we're going to mix some moot green with some VMA white. You could use white scar from GW. And we're going to create a kind of 50-50 mix here to give us a nice light green. But moot green is so bright that it actually looks a bit fluorescent-y. And we're just going to create some little dots and kind of build up the inner part of the slime here. This is to make it look a bit like it's kind of glowing. And here I've mixed a little bit more white into my mix. I'm just, again, increasing that glow effect by just painting it further into the middle. Now I'm going to take some Lamentas Yellow and I'm going to glaze this over the entire top sludge area. And again, I'm going to use a slightly damp brush just to feather the edges of that Lamentas Yellow so that it blends seamlessly into the surrounding grey uh, tiles. Now this is an optional step, you can do this with um, just some of our white and green mix. This is Vallejo's phosphorescent paint, so it's glow in the dark. It's really subtle, but it was kind of an experiment on my part, I wanted to see how well it worked. So I'm using that to just 
make the middles of the uh, tile the toxic sludge pop. Now I'm going to take some Methonian camo shade and I'm just washing this over the areas. This just makes it look a bit like a dirty smear. Now take some Fire Dragon Bright and a piece of sponge. We're going to create some slightly rusty areas on our tiles. And some very watered down scrag brown. This is almost a wash consistency. It's so thin. And we're just going to wash this into any nooks and crannies that we want some rust to, to have built up in. And then we're going to do the same with some Fire Dragon Bright, just only on um, a few areas though now. Once it dries, it dries a lot darker. Now we're going to take some Right Glim Flesh Shade. We're actually going to wash this over almost the entire model. We're going to steer clear of the Toxic Sludge area, and we're just going to make sure that it's not quite as heavy on the flat surfaces, and it's mostly just um, in the crevices. Again, using a clean brush to just get it out of areas where I don't want it. Now our last step, we're going to use Blood for the Blood God and a piece of sponge. And we're just going to create some subtle little blood spatters because this is Necromunda after all and there'll be plenty of blood flying all over the place. And there we have it. Some simple toxic sludge grey bases. I'm going to be using these for my goliaths actually because you know they keep getting shot at by ashes and such with their poison weapons. So if you like this model please click the like button, share, subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me on the social medias and I will see you again soon. Bye.